Hey YouTube, it's Karen and Lisa coming on to give you my wrap up of the water only hair washing method. I did the method from July 1st until September 1st and actually beyond and my hair did fine. Um, it, it took me on average 30 days to get full coverage sebum and because I was trying to deep condition my hair, I found that my natural deep conditioner that I was using was stripping my sebum so it took a lot longer for me to get full coverage. but. I did find that because my dietary needs have changed since June, um, my sebum's different. My sebum is not thick, it's not extremely oily, and it took longer to come in and I didn't overproduce. The first time I was on the regimen, I overproduced and the sebum caused me to get acne on my forehead. This time around, I had no issue with that. There was no sebum running down, there was no extra thick um, sebum coating. I didn't have to clarify as often. Actually, I think I clarified every six to eight weeks. Maybe. Maybe. But because the first month and a half, I kept stripping it every time I deep conditioned. It was no need to clarify. But um, my sebum comes in nice. It's thin and um, it's not as tacky as it was before. And that's because my diet has uh, less fat in it. So your diet does affect your sebum production and the, the consistency of your sebum. Um, I, I wanted to find natural gels that would help um, in the process, and I did find a good natural gel by Sorenzo Styling Gel that really worked well to define my, my coils if I wanted to wear wash and go, and it did not strip my sebum. So that was a plus. It worked very well with the sebum. Um, I found oil rinses once a week help with um, giving you some substance while your sebum is coming in. Once you get full coverage of sebum, you really don't need the oil rinses. You just may want to do them just to, to put something on your hair. But I found that I didn't need them once my sebum was full. Um, so, um, and I use castor oil. Um, I haven't tried olive oil or avocado oil. Those are my next two I want to try. But um, the uh, castor oil works fine for me. It's heavy, but my hair is dense. So I, I need that type of oil. What I do is only put a dime size on each section of my hair while I'm in the shower after I've water rinsed. And I put the oil on, get it on each strand, rake it through, and then twist it up and section it off. And then proceed to shower and then undo the sections and rinse it out. And rinse it out thoroughly as I can to get most of the, the extra residue of the oil off. And then um, rinse with a final cold rinse and then twist my hair up at night. It's dry in an hour and I have a twist out for the next day. And I repeat the process again the next night minus the oil. So um, that, that's that been my regimen. I wash my hair every night and I get used to that and it works. And then what I was trying to do was two weeks I would have my hair out and then I would um, put the the mini twist in and do the mini twist for two weeks but I have found that I haven't even put the twist in in a month I've just been lazy and so I've been wearing twist outs and and on days that it's really humid where and my hair frizzes out I just put a headband on and just have a, a, a frizzy fro and I'm okay with that um I think that's about it um I did a roller set last night so my hair has no sebum on it it's, it's just completely stripped not stripped, I clarified this weekend. So, um, and when I mean clarified, I mean I cleanse with um, an actual cleanser that would strip all of the sebum off and any residue or dirt or anything that was on my hair. So I used um, the Terra, Shea Terra Organics Mud Poo. That's what I, I clarified with. And then I did an oil rinse and then just twisted my hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I wore a wash and go for the weekend. And then last night I washed, water rinsed my hair and then did an oil rinse, and then put twist in and roll them with the with sponge rollers. And I got these cute little coils this morning, and they're, they're just adorable. And my hair feels great. It's soft, it's fluffy, and it just looks looks good. Feels good too. I just like this method because it just is no nonsense. I don't have to spend all that money on a whole bunch of products, and then get caught up with the hype and buying new products every time something new comes out. I don't have time for that. 
and my hair just doesn't like it or need it. I have found that my hair does best when it is simple. When you keep it simple, my hair loves it. And honestly, that's kind of my life. The more simplistic it is, the better things flow for me. And that's just how it is for me, and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. So I just wanted to just wrap that up to say that I'm, it's a great method. Tweak it if you need to. You know, if you need to do a conditioner every now and then, put it on there. there there's no one regimen that is the God of all gods for your hair. Get over that mentality. Do what works for your hair. Do what works for you. And forget everybody who has an opinion about it. Do what works for you. And so if you have to add something to your regimen in order to get your hair to the next level, in your opinion, do that and be okay with it. So I choose to water rinse. I choose to use natural products if I need a product. And that's just it. It's that simple. It's not rocket science. And you won't be punished if you, you do, don't follow the regimen like you think you're, it, sh it should be. Just do what works for your hair. And basically, that's it. That's all I have to, to say about it. So if you have any questions about the method, I mean, I'm no expert, but I like the method. I've, I've done it, I think, twice now. Um, three times. I've actually, actually done it three times. I don't know why I went back. I don't even know what I went back to. I think the Curly Girl method. I don't remember. But I'm, I'm back to the ward only hair washing method. It's what works. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you have any questions, you know, I'm, I'm here. Ask away. Thanks. God bless.